Hello and welcome back to OTR Customs. Today we're going to walk through the process of replacing the headlight lenses on a 2007 to 2013 Acura MDX. So this particular car is a 2010 MDX and as you can see the headlights are pretty severely clouded. With the rest of the car being in such good condition we decided it was worth the time for this repair. I didn't document the process of removing the headlights, but it was relatively simple. It does require removing the front bumper, but we were also replacing the cloudy fog lights, so we were removing the front bumper anyway. So once the headlights are removed, we're going to use a heat gun to remove the old lens from the housing. You want to work your way from the center to the outside of the housing, heating one section and then pulling, heating another section, and just slowly work the lens off of the housing. So, as you can see, I've started heating this side. So, you're just kind of slowly working it apart and pulling these little clips up just enough. You don't want to break them, but you want to pull them up enough to where you can get loose. And I'm using this to kind of help get it separated. You kind of just have to keep working it. And then I'll occasionally take, just take this screwdriver and kind of cut the glue that's connecting them to get it loose. So this piece I'm holding um, sets down into the lens. Um, the only thing that holds it in, in here is two little screws. You can see there's a tab for one screw and the um, tab for the other screw. So the thing with this, these screws look like you'll see them when you've got the whole headlight housing together. and and But you can see that you can't get to them. So just know that you don't have to worry about those until you get, the, until you get to this part. So you take those two screws out and then this just pulls out of here. Um, we did make the mistake on the other one having this sitting out and we had to make sure and clean it again. So I recommend having the other lens ready to where when you pull this out, you can take it out of one lens and set it right in the other one so you keep from messing it up. So we couldn't find too many videos on a successful way of getting all the glue out. So what we found, what we're finding it works pretty well is just take a heat gun and do a little section of it. Find a screwdriver that's about the width of your groove so heat up the section, and then I'm just taking the screwdriver, and I just run it down that section, I heat it up, and it just peels it right out. And it like, I mean, it leaves a nice smooth, I don't wanna fill in my tab there. And just working my way all the way around. So I wanted to show the product we used to seal the new lenses. We did have a bit of difficulty finding a place that had this in stock. However, you can order it online, of course. And they have a few different sizes. The 3 8 inch worked really well as it filled the, um, it was about the right width of the groove in the headlight housing. So you just take the roll of butyl tape and just slowly work your way around and pressing it all the way down in the groove. You don't want it up on the edge or else it'll mess up how it spreads once you heat it up and press the lens in. So you want to get it all the way down into the groove and you just work your way all the way around the headlight housing. So once the butyl tape is pressed in all the way around, we're going to start heating it uh, with the heat gun. So you just work your way around evenly all the way around. We ended up heating it for probably about two minutes, just working your way around about the speed that you see in the video. Um, and then once you uh, have it all heated up, then you're going to place the lens. And I did not video actually installing the lenses, but it's pretty straightforward. You just slowly work it into the glue until you can get all the tabs seated. And as soon as you have it pretty well seated, then you want to make sure and install your screws to get it pulled into where it needs to set. And once you get your screws installed and make sure all the tabs are set, just let it cool off and you can put everything right back together again. And here's the passenger headlight with the new lens. As well as the driver's side with the new lens. 
and you can see I'm holding up the old cloudy lens to see the comparison. So one of the things I didn't mention in the video earlier is you need to, um, these lenses that we bought off of eBay, um, they didn't have the paint, they didn't have the edges painted. And if you don't paint the edges, um, you can actually see where the fender bolts, where the fender tabs kind of stick in on the bottom. So it definitely does make a difference. Um, so we just masked them off and sprayed them. Of course, sanded them down before you spray them to make sure the paint's going to stick. And as you can see from the pictures in the beginning, it made a huge difference replacing these lenses. Really updates the car and makes it not look like it's 12 years old. So not only does it improve the look of the headlight, but you'll be amazed at how much better your night vision will be improved. The total cost of this project was just under $200 compared to over $1,000 for new headlights, so it is well worth a couple hours time it took to complete it. Thank you for joining us for another project from OTR Customs. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great day.